Happy New Year to to you, Black Killing Matters, and just want to say thank you for one of your um a content I I I listened to a few days ago about uh, uh your Happy New Year message. I actually listened to it from the Man of Steel station, and I actually enjoyed it. It impacted my life, and I also shared it with my friends. I hope a lot of people also see that because that's what people really need right now to help them turn out their life on the right direction in 2018. Thank you very much. Happy New Year. What's up, Danielle? This is Kelly Dees from Embrace Black Podcast. I want to thank you so much for coming over and favoriting my channel. I've been listening to your content. I love everything that you're putting out. And I just wanted to come over and say thank you so much because it's awesome. We have to collab. It's definitely something that we probably should talk about in the future. Thanks for the content. Thanks for the favorite. And I'll be looking out for you. Hey there, Black Healing Matters family. This is Danielle here at the Black Healing Matters podcast, where we offer you ideas to hopefully move you one step closer to your healing. And today is no different, fam. Man, I'm so glad that you're here to enjoy this day with me because today is Welcome Wellness Wednesday. Mm, Feels good, doesn't it? Welcome Wellness. Yes, and the reason we do this segment every Wednesday is to truly invite wellness into our space and to make our space, our life that is, our life, our bodies, our minds and spirits, a place that is conducive to wellness, where wellness can proliferate. So today, as we continue on this series about wellness and covering all the different aspects of our total wellness, today we're going to dive deep into environmental wellness. And so when I thought about this one, man, so many things came to mind. But today I decided to go with three tips. These three tips will help you to maintain your environmental wellness and also maybe even maintain your budget now going into a brand new year, 2018. So when we come back, I will have three, yes, three tips for you to help improve and maintain your environmental wellness. Be right back. All right, fam, we're back. And as promised, I have three tips to help you improve and maintain your environmental wellness. But before we get into that, really, what is environmental wellness? Well, environmental wellness, quite simply, refers to the wellness or the making our spaces, our physical spaces around us conducive to our wellness as well. That means the environment, as in, you know, the ecosystem type of environment, but also our homes and the spaces that we occupy with our physical bodies. All of this would be considered under the realm of environmental wellness. And so as I give you these tips, some of them will apply to the environment in your home, maybe, or your office and your space, or also in regards to the environment at large, the world, the global, the planet, (laughs) if you will. Both of them are obviously external and are affected by our actions as human beings. And so as black folks here at, you know, this is Black Healing Matters, um, I understand as well that, you know, sometimes the environment is not huge. It's not like a high priority on our list. However, we often live in, in under environmental conditions that are far from optimal. And so I believe that creating environments that are healthy for us is just as important as the food that we put in our mouths, putting healthy food in our mouths. Because, and all the other forms of wellness, mental, like we talk about mental health, mental health Mondays, and other forms of wellness. 
because again, your physical environment really has a huge impact on your day-to-day life and your moment-to-moment feelings and emotions in that life. So let's get straight into the first tip, okay? Number one, first tip to maintain and even improve your environmental wellness is to declutter. That's right, declutter, <laughs> All right? So, okay, I honestly have to admit, this is this one is something that I have to do regularly, is go through my car, go through my house, and just throw stuff away, declutter. As you probably heard, a cluttered physical space is also indicative of a cluttered mental space. So this is one of those really important visceral connections between the external environment and our minds, our internal minds. And so have you ever had that feeling where you're like, maybe you'd be at work, for example, on your desk. And if you just, ha- you have so many different things on your desk, you have files and papers and paper clips and staples and post- post-it notes everywhere. And there's a layer of dust on your computer screen and, you know, <laughs> I only talk about this because I know it. This is no, no judgment here, okay? But after you've cleaned up all of that stuff and you've made your desk, you know, look really neat and gotten all the stuff out of the way, take off all the post-it notes and kind of check those things off your list. <sighs> How much better do you feel? Right? Okay? And so this is really a great example of how decluttering your space is not only making your space healthier for your physical body that you don't have all this stuff and dust and junk all over the place but also it's helpful to ease your mind and what 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 there's there's no price you can put on easing your mind tip number two that i'm going to give and this one is a little more practical if you will (laughs) This may also, as I mentioned before, affect your pocketbook. And it is to use reusable water bottles. Yes, use reusable water bottles. Now, I mean, we all drink water. (laughs) If you don't, then you should, right? You already know that, though. I'm not your mother here to tell you that you need to drink water. But since we all drink water, then it's also important for us to, again, minimize the clutter by minimizing the number of plastic bottles that we use. I don't know about you, but I end up with a bunch of plastic bottles. As I told you, I have to clean out my car, my my home, my office. Uh, pretty regularly, you know, maybe once a week or once every two weeks, depending, you know, on, you know, what's going on in my life. And by and large, what I find quite often is these empty plastic bottles. And so, of course, empty, these plastic bottles is not good for the environment, number one. I'm talking about, like, ecosystem environment, but also it's not good for our physical environment. And it's not good for our physical bodies. As you know, plastic contains all kind of nasty little things, right? The, what is it called? BPAs and all that kind of stuff. You know, it doesn't take rocket science to know that plastic is not good for us, right? And the fact that we're ingesting water from it is not a good thing either. And so when I say reuse reusable bottles, that ideally would be either a glass or stainless steel bottle. In fact, I have a friend who only uses glass bottles and, you know, she really loves it because it, you know, it, the glass bottles don't, um, they don't, they don't retain flavor. So you can put anything inside. You can put juice inside of it. You can put water inside of it next, and then you can turn around and put some milk inside of it, and it will still taste good. You know, your milk won't taste like juice. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I know that's kind of nasty, but I'm <laughs> highly recommend it though. Either glass or stainless steel. All right, my third and final tip for you 
today on ways that you can maintain or even improve your environmental wellness. And this one's kind of general, but it really is effective. Is to grow stuff. (laughs) Grow stuff, right? Grow stuff. What do I mean by stuff? Of course, I mean your food. Grow flowers. Grow plants. Okay, grow sprouts in your home. These are very simple things, but unfortunately, you know, in the world we live in today, well, I can't say it's unfortunate because we're blessed to live in a world where convenience is all around us. And it's now at the cheapest price that it's ever been in human history. And the fact that we have all of this convenience at our fingertips, sometimes, you know, we, we don't even understand and we're coming to a, a place in our in our culture where many of us don't even understand how to grow food, how to create our own food sources. And so this this uh, this tip for improving and maintaining environmental wellness is a great way, first of all, to get healthy, fresh, organic food. Yes, simple but profound. Grow it. If you have, especially if you have children, you know, I, I was watching a, a documentary about this just a few days ago about um, an, an urban farm. I believe it's in in New York, and just the look on these children's faces and their their excitement to see something that they worked so hard on that they put their they put that seed in the ground and they put their time and effort into taking care of that seed and now to see it grow like there's there's just an innumerable amount of pride in growing your own stuff and yeah you may not be into growing you know food for, plants for food but even just having a house plant This does wonders for your environment. Just the feeling and the mood is so different when you have something growing in your home. Um, I know for myself, we have plants in my home and, you know, nurturing those plants, taking care of them and watching them grow is really exciting. And, you know, there, there are a few things like that, that are, that can be like, you know, furniture basically in our homes that give us that type of excitement I don't feel that way about my couch I don't feel that way about my carpet okay that's what I'm trying to say and so again these three tips are all about inviting more wellness into our lives and therefore making our lives conducive to higher levels of overall wellness. Of course, environmental wellness is just a small part, just one part of the many types of wellness that we have talked about and will continue to talk about on this podcast on Wednesdays. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this and that you've gotten some value from it. And by no means is this list exhaustive, okay? It's not like these are the only things you can do. So if you have some other ideas on ways that you can improve improve or maintain our environmental wellness, then please do call in, make a comment, let us know, even email, okay? If you send me an email, I will read your comments on the air for you, okay? I will do my best to read those comments on the air and I will, of course, respond to your email. So what's my email address, you ask? Of course, Black Healing Matters at gmail.com. That's simple, okay? Black Healing Matters, all spelled out at gmail.com, okay? All right, fam. I'm just so excited to have you here, and I'm thankful that you have lent me your ear and your heart. It's the greatest gift that you could give. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Stay blessed. The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.